How's it going, everyone? My name is Cynical, and welcome back to yet another Umineko no Neku Crony. We're still within episode 5, End of the Golden Witch. And if you want to get caught up, the playlist link, as always, is in the description down below, so go ahead and check it out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and continue from where we last left off. Bachelor did nothing but gaze blankly out the window. The fighting between the relatives went on without end. Productive. At first, the relatives had crowded around the study. Oh. However, no matter how much they knocked, the master of the study did not answer even once. Ava and several others said they should open the door with the second key, the one Genji held. However, in a flash of brilliance, Natsui said that Kenzo had been in a particularly bad mood and had taken back the key he'd previously given Genji, which meant that he now had both keys himself. She claimed that this was the reason they couldn't open the door. After she promised to let them meet Kenzo tomorrow morning, no matter what, they finally returned to the dining hall. But of course, the argument continued on even there. Eva's group needed a lot of cash very soon, and they were trying to threaten Cross somehow to make him pay up. Apparently, Bachelor solving the epitaph threatened Cross's position as the successor, which gave the others a powerful tailwind. On the other side, Cross and Natsui based their argument on the claim that it had never been specified that ownership of the gold would be handed over to the person who solved the epitaph. It hadn't been hidden gold but simply Kinzo's stockpile. Really? Is that the phrase you want to... Is that, is, that, is that what you want to use right there? Because it was hidden, specifically. <laughs> None of y'all knew about it, all right? Just saying, about, just saying that right now. Anyway, I'll continue. And it was still Kinzo's property which meant it would naturally be distributed after Kinzo's death with the rest of the inheritance. Once they made that claim, Eva's group once again started demanding to be allowed to see Kinzo. It had probably been obvious to them from the beginning. This sibling fight could only be settled by Kinzo. <sighs> this was obviously a confrontation between Eva's group, which wanted cash fast. <laughs> and Kroz, who was hiding his lack of funds, but still didn't need money right away. As he listened vaguely to this exchange, Battler marveled at how, despite the usual affluent, uh, affluent heirs, they were surprisingly deep in debt. According to the clock, it was almost midnight. It certainly was a perfect time for a break. The atmosphere relaxed just a bit. どうかんや。お互い一服するのも悪くないで。ほな、以後は議事を取りながらにせんか。一体言わないはもうごめんや。全くだわ。下の根も乾かないうちにそんなことは言ってないなんて。平気で言い出す兄さんとの会議に議事
兄貴こいつは動くのかオーディオセットかねなるほどそれならば議事を手書きせずに済むし捏造もできんねえグラディア互いにとって公平だ勝手にいじらないように当主様の大切な音楽テープですよ The dignified tape set had a sense of weight to it that matched this majestic dining hall perfectly. On pleasant Sunday mornings, it would sometimes be used to play famous tapes or records. However, right now, it was the most neutral and impartial conference record keeper around. Rudolph fished randomly around the cassette rack. Searching for a blank tape. And every time he found some tape with sophisticated music on it, he'd complain about how pompous it was. Ha ha. Sirishimas. Oh, will you be the shock? Kuke Sirkotoni Natano. Moshua can I dakido, Nanika no mimono yoi stemorai naikashira. ビスケットみたいなものがあってもいいかもねかしこまりましたすぐにご用意いたしますあとごめんなさい風邪薬あるかしらさっきから熱っぽくてなら無理はよくないな休みたまえローザがいいと思うなら好きに休めば私ならこの大事な会議中に風邪くらいじゃ休まないけどねそうかね私は遠慮なく休ませてもらうよ夏日私たちも少し休まないかねはいあなたふん。sensing that he meant to have a strategy meeting Natsui stood up Even if that hadn't been the case, she was so desperate to get out of the room, even for a moment, that she'd have taken any excuse. Cross and Natsui left the dining hall, and the tension in the room truly relaxed. Hmm. Batra Kun, o tsukare sama. 最悪の気分でしょ大人の階段だと思って諦めて俺はいつまでここでボサーっとしてりゃいいんすかねさあバトラ君は私たちのおみこしだからね G Thanks 眠い<笑>古典の授業程度には今夜はどうせお父さんは現れないでしょうクラウス兄さんたちが戻ってきたらバトラ君はもう戻っていいかと提案してみるわよろしく頼むぜエライトノック and the faint sound of China clinking together could be, cur-、uh, be, could be heard、uh, sorry 失礼します、oh, we've barely seen any of you, huh? Damn, okay. Hello. Hello. Shannon and Cannon had come by with a serving cart. The pleasant smell of black tea had the effect of relieving a bit of the tension. Yo, Hanashi, you're a key to the guy. Nano, Hanashi, the shoka. Bok touch, what? Nanimo. よしなさいルドルフ教える必要は何もないわ僕たちは家具ですから親族会議のお話には関心ありませんそうねそれが賢い返事だわ深夜勤なの大変ねそういうお役目ですのでご用命いただけて嬉しいです
そうかもしれんなすることもなくぼんやり起きてる方がしんどいもんやわしも下積み時代に倉庫番とかやったことあるんやけどなただ起きてるだけでもこれがとにかくつらいんや戦争直後はな物資泥棒とかゾロゾロおってな警察も頼れん時代でとにかく物騒でな Hideyoshi was particularly proud of how he'd started with nothing and built up assets by illegally diverting goods from the American army. Once the subject came up, Hideyoshi tended to get pretty talkative. The relatives who knew this were greatly relieved to see that a perfect sacrifice had come up. <laughs> She's like, this old guy's crazy. それは大変なお仕事ですね。吉野さんよあなた。戦後生まれにいくら話しても当時の苦労なんか伝わらないわよ。うん。またわしの悪い癖が出てしもうたな。すまんすまん。あなたたちもお茶をしていきなさいよ
Gota had the midnight shift at the guest house. Kumasawa had gone to bed in a spare room in the guest house. The two of them were right here, so Genji was the only person left. But they knew very well that Genji wouldn't knock like that. Uh, okay, what the fuck is going on? Rudolph didn't recognize the knock either. When he asked, who it, who, uh, who is it? Sorry. <clears throat> Clear my throat. It became apparent that no one knew whose knock it was. After that, the same knock knock repeated just once more. Could it be that someone had their hands full and was asking that the door be opened for them? As a slightly odd feeling began to encompass the room, the sound of the large clock in the hall could be heard. It was a sign that October 4th had ended, and October 5th had begun. Well. This is getting a little eerie. Um, hmm. Let's step back in time a bit. Oh, come on, no, please. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, great, these two. <sighs> okay. At this time... Cross and Natsui were a ways off, in a deserted corridor on the second floor. もう、それしか手はないのかね。はい。明日一日同じでは、もはや通用しないでしょう。これ以上を痺れば、エヴァさんたちはお父様を監禁しているなどと主張して、警察に訴える可能性さえあります。<laughs> dun 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 <laughs> Just finally accept it, man. Batura わたしがかけると エヴァたちが素直に受け入れるとは思えん。客も承知です。しかし、もうそれしか手がありません。そのようなことをすれば、エヴァたちは疑わしいと騒ぎ立てるだろう。エヴァたちは金を責めるためなら、なりふりなど
エヴァたちの特権を浴びすぎて冷静を失っただけだあの書斎に入る鍵は2本しかないそしてその2本はここに君が持っているだから誰も入ることなどできんあの扉は特別制だ彼らが倉庫からどんな工具を持ってこようともビクともせんよそういう物理的な問題ではありませんだから焦るな落ち着けなんなら君は熱を出したことにして寝込んでいてくれればいいその間に私が全て乗り切ってみせるあなただけに任せられません私も最後まで戦いますはあ When Natsui could no longer hold back the tears brought on by her fierce emotions, Cross held her gently. Just how long had it been since the last time she'd felt the warmth of her husband's compassion? She had come to think. That her husband could never guess the way she felt. But at times like this. She saw to you, Kirifuda, or Saigo no Saigo Made Mato. Then Kano Hoto to Najidayo. Nukana Uchina Hanada. Daijina noa. Eats the Monukeru to you, Kokoroma Maedewa Naikane. So ever. Wakat Tamas. その切り札を私に預けてくれんかねもちろん最後の瞬間の責任は全て私が取る Responsibility. 君とジェシカは巻き込まん Well well それはどういう意味ですか後ろミヤが滅ぶ時その瓦礫に潰されるのは私だけで十分だ台風が過ぎたら離婚届を準備しようデーンそれに夏印し君に預けておく内緒で君の名義にしてある財産があるさらにそれに慰謝料を加えれば君とジェシカは不自由なく暮らせるはずだ嫌です私の母妃に刻むべき名は後宮夏日ですどうか最後の瞬間までご一緒にたとえあなたが後宮家最後の当主であろうとも夏日を最後までどうか当主夫人で。Cross's existence was founded solely upon the trust and power of his、uh, assets as a financial fixer. If either of those weakened, nothing would remain. If they used the, the、uh, trump card of Kenzo's disappearance, They would lose one of these two essential supporters. Supports, sorry. It was like offering your right arm in exchange for your neck being cut. It was probably better than losing your head, but you still might die from the blood loss. And even on the off chance that you did survive, you'd have to bear a heavy wound. That wouldn't heal for the rest of your life. Cross was prepared for even death. Understanding this, Natsui buried her face in Cross's chest and cried. Bill Hill. Otori Komichu, Shitsure Itashimas. Yes. The sudden appearance of Genji's voice made Natsui jump back, 
and hurriedly wiped the tears from her face. Cross stood in front of Natsui, shielding her. Genji-san ka? Odorokase nai de kure tamae? Nani ka yo ka ne? Hai. Moushiwake gozaimasen ga. Oksama ni go houkoku ga. Watakushi ni desu ka? Anata. Kamawan yo. Cross left the Natsui side went to a window a short ways off, and gazed at the windy and rainy rose garden. Natsui went with Genji to a place a short distance away. Hmm. Oh. Well, this is making a comeback, isn't it? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. That was, uh... That was pretty sudden. At that moment, a sudden, eerie sound surprised her. It was the large clock in the hall, announcing midnight. Yes. <laughs> Well, too fucking bad. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Again, a phone call from the man who claimed to be taking revenge for something that happened 19 years ago. 19 years ago. That was just one year before Jessica and Battler were born. In Natsui's eyes, the gap between 19 years ago and 18 years ago was immense. For a long time, she had been unable to fulfill her role of creating a successor for the Ushurumiya family, and had been treated very coldly. But then, she finally gave birth to Jessica, and became able to call herself the Ushiro Mia successor's wife, with her head held high. So in her eyes, Ushiro Mia Natsui began 18 years ago. That's why everything before that, including the events of 19 years ago, contained nothing but hateful memories. And something from the last year of that hateful period is whispering vengeful words from the other end of the phone. I can still hear the roar of the sea. <laughs> From the very beginning, Genji had guessed that she wouldn't want Cross hearing about this phone call. That's why he told... He had told Natsui covertly. Natsui ordered that he transfer the call, told Cross that she would turn in for the night and left at a quick pace. Hmm. She returned to her room and locked the door. There was nothing peculiar about that. In the Ushiromiya family, hallways are like public roads. There's no special meaning in locking the door when you enter your own room. This is what she told herself. Then, as though it had been waiting for her, the telephone rang. Genji had probably transferred the call. She took a deep breath, readied herself, and picked up the receiver. Again, 
it started with silence. She realized that the person at the other end was trying to irritate her and make her feel uncomfortable. And she got angry. <laughs> Again, that unpleasant voice. Just the fact that he knew her headache was troubling her made a shiver run up her spine. Natsui forcefully yelled that she was hanging up, but in actuality, she couldn't. After all, being at the receiving end of the phone call was much better than the alternative. If she hung up violently, this person might then call someone else. It was clearly a threat. It meant that if she forced him to hang up the phone, anything might happen. Humiliated that she was forced to give in to a threat made by a man whose name she didn't even know, she gave him the answer he wanted. Special. Oh god, the cackling. Stop it! Surely this man would have done the same thing no matter which season I said I liked. What is he after? What's so fun about making me uncomfortable like this? Shoko? In Natsui's room, there was a beautiful antique clock with an intricate design. Cross had bought it for her as a birthday present long ago. The tone of the man's voice suddenly went low, turning into a threat. It made his displeasure clear. 
At first, this man seemed to have a calm way of speaking, but on the inside, that wasn't the case at all. If she enraged this man even a little more, he would surely show his true nature right away. こうしてあんたに電話をしてるうちがあなたなんだね。あんたが19年前にしたことを俺はいつだってあんたの旦那や娘に話すことができるんだ。あ、あなたが何の話をしているか知りませんが、夫や娘を巻き込まないでください。こ
電話だってそこいら中にあるしなあんただって俺に会いたくないだろうそれとも俺を見つけ出してみんなに紹介してくれるのかジェシカにも紹介してくれよ一つ上の兄ですこれで勘弁してやるよだが忘れるなあんたは俺に逆らえない分かってるな母さんはい今夜はこれで電話を切るが明日の朝まで命令があるな何ですかあんたは今夜もうその部屋を出てはならないしどこにも電話をかけてはならない電話がかかってきても取ることも許さねえぜそして今すぐ明かりを消し布団をかぶって寝ろそしていつもの時間に起床しろ健康的な生活でいいな母さんの体をいたわるなんて俺は親孝行者だよわかりました今すぐ出ます部屋も出ました電話も出ましただから夫と娘には母さんが俺の命令を守る限りあんたの秘密は守ってやるよ命令を破るなよ俺はもうお前のすぐ近くに部屋の明かりが消えるかどうかそして電話をしているかどうかさえ俺さえ望むならあんたの寝顔にキスすることだってできるんだからな守ります約束は守りますだからやめてもうやめてやめてー As she screamed, Natsui took the card she had found under the clock and crushed it Up into a little bar. It had a pattern on it like a tarot card. And also. That. <laughs> the kanji for autumn. Ah, okay. Hmm. Okie dokie. Let's step back in time once again. How many times are we going to do this? Huh? <laughs> God damn it. Alright, well. Sure. Right now, it is the exact moment that the large clock in the hall announced midnight. Wondering who the person who knocked twice was. The relatives in the dining hall stared at the door. Rudolph told them to come in, but there was no answer. Until the end of that long tone, marking the arrival of midnight, which had come from the large clock in the hall, shortly after the knock, they were unable to move in the slightest. <laughs> Kana nodded back and slowly opened the door. Right behind the opened door, on the floor of the hallway, lay the envelope. Roka ni wa dare mo imasen. Kore o oite tachisatta no de shou ka. The adults flew out into the corridor as well, but they could find no trace of anyone who might have knocked on the door. Just about an hour ago, Shannon and Kenan had come in to serve tea. That whole segment was an hour. Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Did not seem like an hour, but okay, if you say so. Uh, at that time, everyone had been had seen, sorry, that nothing lay in that spot. Someone came, knocked, left an envelope with the mark of the one-winged eagle on it, and left. ま、さか。親方様でしょうか。考えられない話じゃないわ。この屋敷で誰と呼ばれて返事をしないのはお父様くらいだもの。ありえないわ。ならどうしてお父様は堂々と入ってこないの? そうやな。お父さんだったらノックなどせずいきなり入ってくるやろな。今この屋敷は戸締まりがされとるんやろ。ならここに手紙を置くことができるんはクラウスさんか夏日さん。そして現地さんの誰かしか考えられんで。By this point, the mansion had been completely locked up. Therefore, the cousins in the guest house, Nanjo, Goda, Kumasawa, and Erika, could not have come here. Furthermore, since Cross, Natsui, and Genji were the only three who weren't in this room, one of those three had to have been the one who set that letter down in the corridor. So, it was very likely that Cross and the others had placed the letter there. To make it seem like a message from Kenzo. なるほどね。お父様の名を語ってバトラ君を直騎投手に認めないみたいなことが書いてあるのよ。バカバカしい。兄さんめ、よくもこんな子供騙しを。別に俺は直騎投手なんて興味ねえぜ。諦めろ。
こりゃ差出人は親父じゃねえぞもっと面白いじゃあ誰からの手紙だってんだ後宮家顧問錬金術師あほう黄金の魔女ベアトリーチ様からだぜ<笑> Rudolph showed everyone the part of the letter where that was written It really did say that、hmm. ベアトリーチから How all? なんて書いてある読むぞ OK good Because I don't want to read it. Congratulations. Really? English? Batra Samaga, Hibun no Nazo, Migo Toni Tokare, Ogon Kyoni Tadori Tsukimashita Koto, Mito Mimas. Ogon was bete, Batra Samano Monodis. So ste, Ushiromiake no Atarashiki Toshimo, Batra Samadis. So no Akashi to ste, Kinzo Samayuri was Karishi, Toshu no Yubiwa, O Christmas. どうぞバトラ様指輪をされて新しい黄金の主となりどうか後ろ宮家をお導きください新しき当主のご活躍を心よりお祈りいたしております<笑><笑>なんてこった親父が書斎から出てこねえもんだから森の魔女ベアトリーチが直接バトラを認めてくれたわけだ<笑>バトラ君この指輪はあなたが持つのよこれが当初が身につけるべき特別な指輪ベアトリーチェが何者か知らないけれど彼女は一部始終を見届けあなたが真の後継ぎだと認めてこの指輪を送ったのよいいんすかこんな重要な指輪をああいいんだ誇らしげに指にはめるといいいいか兄貴や夏日さんが外せと言っても絶対に外すんじゃねえぞあいや because they're not here to see it yeah okay yeah okay I understand why you said it now I was a little bit confused <laughs> All of the relatives with creepy smiles on their faces. That does sound creepy. <laughs> urged a bachelor to put the ring on his finger. It looked like things would get pretty nasty if he refused. So, bachelor reluctantly decided to put it on the middle finger of his left hand. Hey, good choice. Middle finger is always going for the win. The ring was heavy and stiff. Eh, <laughs> giggity.、Uh, at that moment, Cross returned. Oh boy, here we go. Couldn't wait until tomorrow morning, could it? Fuck. <laughs>、um, Genji came back as well, shortly behind him. Hello. <laughs> なんだか諸君がひどく慌ただしいようだ。Yeah, a little something happened. Sure, we'll call it that. <laughs> Nervous laugh. バトラ様、それは。Yes, obey me, bitch. <laughs> I would never say that actually, but still, it's pretty funny. Yeah, anyway, well, funny to me. To all of you, I'm just insane. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> immediately Genji keenly spotted that which Bachelor had just put on his finger. Sasuga Genji san ya! Omega Takai! Ah, Korega Dare no Yubioka, Wakar Yoyana! Nani? Nan no Hanashidome. Is your eyesight bad there, boy? <laughs> What the fuck? Judging by Cross's dubious expression, it seemed unlikely that he was the one who placed the letter there. Furthermore, that expression quickly changed to, into one of shock. <laughs> please stop, Ava. Please, no, stop it. 
Oh boy, here we go. The family conference took up this new topic, and the storm came once again. Oh my lordy lord. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Where's the crack of the screen? Where? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Why are you going so slow? Oh, three in the morning. What the fuck? Okay, something broke in the game. <laughs> I heard the shattering. What the fuck? But there's no visual effect of the cracking in the... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what? That's not my fault. That's the game's fault. Don't blame me. Anyway, that does signify the end of this chapter. If there's no crack, there's a clock, and that clock sprung three hours ahead. Things should get interesting. Hmm. I think I got an idea of what to put as a title, but the thumbnail escapes me. Hmm. Gonna have to have fun with that one, aren't I? Uh, anyway. I don't know what to say about this chapter. It was, um... It was something. Hmm. I'm actually not happy or frustrated or anything. I'm just neutral. This chapter was just meh. You know, just meh. Huh. Okay. <laughs> well, hopefully the next one will be a lot better, huh? Uh, that was a little bit of a lackluster, huh? Well, that's that. Um... Unfortunate. Nothing really huge happened except for, I guess, the phone call and then the ring thing. Hmm. Well, I hope you all enjoyed nonetheless. If you did, please leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because there will be more Umineko and Higurashi soon. So stay tuned for that. And... Until then... Please, everybody, as a reminder, to stay sinful, folks! <laughs>